welcome back to the Hunter Call the Wild with Lady Legend. I am back from holidays and will be back to uploading videos on a regular schedule. And I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Lots of good stuff to come. And so today we're going to head out and I'm going to show you some clips from several different hunts in Yukon. Everything that I found in this video did not happen in one hunt. <laughs> so I just want to let you know that. So here we are hunting for grizzlies in Yukon. Yukon is an amazing reserve. It's so much fun to hunt. So there we found a beautiful albino, just a level one grizzly, but that's okay. Really nice rare to throw in our trophy lodge. And here we have a pretty nice caribou. Not a diamond, but still a nice one. So I'm gonna shoot it with a 30 odd six and that's gonna take it down. Now with these rivers, there are some spots that you can travel across and there are some that you don't. You will come to learn where you can cross because it can be a big pain in the neck to run, have to run all the way around to get your kill. So uh, yeah, practice crossing there. So there we have a pretty gold, 386.1. Diamond is 430.2 now. And now we're off hunting for gray wolves. And they can be pretty aggressive. So when you're hunting gray wolves, oh, look at that. That is an albino, level five male. That is a beautiful find. You don't see those very often. 30 odd six is a perfect weapon for them. And you'll know when you're getting attacked because you'll start to hear the growling noise. And that means they are approaching and you need to get your weapon ready. And it's always smart to have your health right beside your 30 odd six or whichever weapon that you are using to hunt your gray wolves because <laughs> otherwise what could happen to you is what just happened to me and I got killed by the wolves. And now I have to go all the way back on a four-wheeler, which is just a bit of a waste of time and energy, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, it is smart to hold your health close by so you can grab it real quick, replenish your health and keep killing those gray wolves. So I am running up here just to find the wolves that I had already killed, that beautiful albino. This is an amazing lake for wolves. Holy crow, look at the size of that moose. Oh my God, oh, he's alarmed. Okay, I'm gonna grab my 300. Oh, he's gonna bolt any second. Okay, let's get a shot. There we go. So we're using the 300. Looks like we got a vital, he is going down. That is a big moose. <laughs> I had no idea he was here. I was just running up to pick up my wolves and there he was. I was lucky to get a shot on, in on him. That's awesome. Look at the size of him. Yeah, that is a nice one. Beautiful scoops. Let's see. He is a gold, but he is very close to diamond. 287.6 trophy. 290.7 is diamond, and he weighs 591.55. He is a big boy. That is a really nice moose. Did not expect to see him there. And look at that. We have a melanistic level four female gray wolf. Trophy of 33, a silver. And we managed a lung and liver shot. Melanistics are awesome. That is a really nice wolf. So we're going to put that in the trophy lodge. Still have wolves running around here, so we still have to be on our guard. And here's a nice level seven gold, 36.8 trophy. Wolves pay really well. So if you're looking to level up, I would highly recommend going wolf hunting, either gray or Iberian. They pay about $1,500 when you get a vital. And here we have an absolutely beautiful male albino gray wolf. He's a silver. 35.5 trophy and we managed to double long and that is a beautiful find. I love albinos. Look at their pink paws and their pink noses and they're really really hard to find so that's a pretty amazing find. That's that's awesome and this is the lake that we are at. It is at the very top of the map and it is an amazing lake for gray wolves. Actually we were up there between 7 and 11 a.m. and there were two zones for gray wolves resting and if you're hunting them in their drink time which is midnight to 3 a.m there's always at least two or three zones there 
So here I am down in what I call Grizzly Bear Alley, and that is the very bottom of the riverway. When you go to the outpost at the very bottom of the river system, and you go left, there's going to be all kinds of bears down here. This is basically where they congregate. And I don't even mind spooking them out a little bit, because it allows me to spot them all, and it isn't that hard to get a running shot on them. They aren't that quick to run. So I'm just here scouting them out, trying to find... Oh, that's what I'm trying to find. <laughs> okay, didn't expect to see him here. Nine legendary grizzly. All right, and he's giving me a beautiful broadside shot. So I'm gonna shoot him with the 300. Yep, we got a vital, he's going down. That is crazy. <laughs> I did not expect to see him. So that's where he was, at the very, very bottom. I've been to this spot so many times and I have never found a legendary bear here. I've seen other people find them here, but I this is my first time. So that's pretty awesome. All right, cross your fingers. No. Oh, he's a gold. 66.8 and 66.9 is diamond. Oh, that sucks. We got him in the left lung. What are you gonna do? So, kind of crazy but true, was hunting with my best hunting bud here. And this is not on the same hunt, but it's, I think it was like the next day. And he also found a legendary grizzly. So I thought, hey, why not take a video of him shooting his legendary? And I hope it makes it because <laughs> two trolls would be pretty horrible, but <laughs> it's been known to happen. So this is not too far from where I found my legendary. The bottom of the river system is a great place. I would always start there when I'm hunting grizzlies. So here's where he is. But you can find them all over the river system. And a lot of the little lakes have grizzlies, especially the ones close to the river system. I will do a grizzly guide in the future, in the very near future. So we're sneaking up on this uh, legendary. Seems a little unsettled. I do believe he's calm. What's interesting is when you are hunting in multiplayer and you have two people hunting side by side, spotting the same animal, it doesn't always show you, like it could say for me that he's calm and it could say that he's alert for my hunting friend. And what's also interesting is we can have two totally separate wins when we're hunting side by side, which I think is a bit of a glitch so hopefully they get that fixed but that can be a bit of a problem when you're hunting together so we're staying quite a ways back I guess we're about 150 out there we go he took a shot yep he's going down it's good our wind is really bad there so and you see that sliding animation that is just because I am not the one who shot the grizzly it was my buddy here and that happens in multiplayer and I don't think it means it's glitched. It's just a, a bit of a, a visual glitch when you're hunting in multiplayer. Unfortunately, multiplayer is a little buggier than single player. I am planning on doing a video on multiplayer versus single player very soon. I think that would be interesting. All right, moment of truth. Come on, don't troll my friend here, Mr. Grizzly. Look at him. <laughs> They're so, they're so cool. All right. Let's see what he got. The suspense is killing me. Just getting word here that we do have a diamond. Congratulations to my best hunting bud here, SRH Forever, on his awesome diamond grizzly. And I think he's gonna do his little happy, happy dance here. <laughs> and there it is. 642.1 kilograms, 67.7 trophy, and he managed a left lung shot with the 300 at 124.62 meters. And that just about wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.